During this National Cybersecurity Awareness Month, we at Kryptonite MIT and Center of Cybersecurity Mahe Manipal would like to contribute to the overall increase in cybersecurity awareness. Let me begin by giving you an overview of who we are and what we do. Kryptonite is a student project of Manipal Institute of Technology. We work in the field of ethical hacking and cybersecurity. Our areas of focus are attack defense, cryptography, forensics, research, reverse engineering, and web exploitation. We strive to have a deeper understanding of traditional methods and techniques in cybersecurity and their implications in today's world. To start off, let's see why we need a Cybersecurity Awareness Month. Held every October, National Cybersecurity Awareness Month is celebrated to highlight the importance of cybersecurity. This is done to ensure that the general public remains informed about the recent developments in the field and the security measures they need to implement in order to keep themselves and their information safe. Moving on to why everyone needs to be aware of this. Currently, the frequency of cyber attacks has increased many fold. It is essential to increase the security of your information, no matter whether it is important or not. Estimates suggest that in 2021, a ransomware attack will take place every 11 seconds. One of the contributing factors to these numbers has been the coronavirus pandemic, which has seen a drastic change in how the world works. The lack of regularity in devices used for internet access makes it difficult for regulators to set data protection standards, leading to a five-fold increase in cyber attacks in six weeks since lockdown. Recent months have seen a 238% rise in attacks on banks, along with the 27% of worldwide attacks targeting banks or healthcare institutes. In April last year, after email addresses and passwords of World Health Organization were leaked, a statement urging vigilance from the general public was issued by them. There has been a 600% increase in both phishing attempts and cloud-based attacks in the first half of 2020, with 5% of coronavirus-related domains being deemed suspicious. COVID-19 has changed social interactions and reshaped our work environment to a more digital setting, along with an increase in vulnerabilities in cyberspace, reminding us about the need for preparedness as individuals and organizations. Before we dive into some common threats that you might be aware of, let us discuss a concept called CIA Triad. CIA Triad stands for Confidentiality, Integrity and Availability. Together, these three principles form the cornerstone of any organization's security infrastructure. In fact, they should function as goals and objectives for every security program. Surveys show that some security breaches such as virus attack, phishing, as well as security lapses such as having weak passwords are known to a significant portion of the population. Before we go ahead, I would like to run you through all the terms mentioned before. Starting with the virus attack. A computer virus behaves similar to a flu virus wherein it is designed to spread from host to host and has the ability to replicate itself. If you talk about it in technical terms, how computer operates and is designed to spread from one computer to another. A virus operates by inserting or attaching itself to a legitimate program or document that supports macros in order to execute its code. Next, we will discuss something called phishing. Phishing attacks are the practice of sending fraudulent communications that appears to come from a reputable source. It is usually done through email. The goal is to steal sensitive data like credit card and login information or to install malware on the victim's machine. Like we have mentioned before, the common threats to one's cybersecurity are known to most people. This is a good start, but it is in no way close to what is required to be known. Misuse of social networks is one security breach whose existence and knowledge is not as well known as it should be. Let's dive right into it. According to a study conducted by Pew Trust, 80% of social media users report being concerned about businesses and advertisers accessing and using their social media posts. Criminals are adept at tricking social media users into handing over sensitive information stealing personal data, and gaining access to accounts users consider private. Data mining is one such method. Everyone leaves a data trail behind on the internet. Every time someone creates a new social media account, 
They provide personal information that can include their name, birth date, geographical location, and personal interests. In addition to this, companies collect data on user behaviors, when, where, and how users interact with their platforms. All of this data is stored and leveraged by companies to better target advertising to their users. Sometimes companies share user data with third-party entities, often without users' knowledge or consent. Social media bots are automated accounts that create posts or automatically follow new people whenever a certain term is mentioned. Another form of misuse of social networks is in the form of botnet attacks. A large group of bots can form a network known as a botnet. Bots and botnets are prevalent on social media and are used to steal data, send spam and launch disruptive denial of service attacks that help cyber criminals gain access to people's devices and networks. In order for you to get an understanding of the scale of such attacks, we have put together a list of recent breaches of security. In June 2021, Professional networking giant LinkedIn saw data associated with 700 million users posted on a dark web forum, impacted more than 90% of its user base. A hacker going by the mnemonic, God user, used data scraping techniques by exploiting the site's API. While LinkedIn argued that as no sensitive private personal data was exposed, the incident was a violation of its terms of service rather than a data breach. A scraped data sample posted by God user contained information including email addresses, phone numbers, geolocation records, gender, and other social media details, which would give malicious actors plenty of data to craft convincing follow-on social engineering attacks in the wake of the leak. April of 2020 saw more than half a million Zoom account credentials, usernames, and passwords made available on dark web forums. Some were given away for free, while others were sold for as low as a penny each. Firstly, they collected databases from any number of online crime forums and web supermarkets that contained usernames and passwords compromised from various hack attacks dating back to 2013. Unfortunately, people tend to reuse passwords, so these credentials were not from any breach at Zoom itself, but rather just broad collection of stolen recycled passwords. There have been a lot of COVID-related scams as well in recent times, including phishing scams, COVID-19 fraudulent websites, business email compromise, ransom attacks, and other mobile application scams. Extorting money by creating fake profiles on social media websites such as Facebook is a common threat. The fraud takes place after a fake account is created using the profile picture of a real user. The fraudster will then contact the friends of the real user and ask them for money. When it comes to social networking sites, civil attack is also a kind of security threat on an online system, where one person tries to take over the network by creating multiple accounts, nodes, or computers. This can be as simple as one person creating multiple social media accounts. Finally, let us discuss some easy steps one can take to prevent this from happening that is normally overlooked when securing their devices or systems. Starting with what you can do with respect to user ID and password. While creating a password, make it as lengthy as possible, having 8 or more than 8 characters, special characters, numbers and both lower and uppercase letters. Periodically, change your password. Avoid reusing your passwords, having the same password for each multiple accounts and sharing your password with everyone. Avoid using a password that is found in a dictionary. Lastly, if you think your password has been compromised, then take further steps to recover it. Going into home computer protection, we recommend the following. Shutting down, logging off or locking the computer with the password when you are away from your PC. If you have a modem, make sure it doesn't automatically accept incoming calls. If necessary, remove personal, confidential or sensitive data before giving the PC to be repaired or replaced. Ensure that backups reflect the most current information by copying the data on a regular basis after making all changes. Save the original installation CDs to use as backup for your PC software. When it comes to antivirus software, disconnecting your PC from the internet and making a full virus scan 
gives a virus free system check your antivirus software at least every week or set it for automatic updates as new and fast spreading worms and viruses are released every day before implementing or using any software from any source one should check for viruses with a current virus scanner do not install free software on your computer from an untrusted source consider the extensions that you can see on your screen through content filtering software such as .bat .cmd .exe .bf .scr or .zip with this brief information about cyber security awareness required by general public i would like to stop here i request you all to follow the rules and be very very cautious while using digital media for your day to day activities and avoid becoming a victim of cyber crime thank you wish you all the best We have made an attempt to give you a very concise all encompassing walk through of how the world of cyber security works and what you can do to be better protected from every evolving virus and newer data breaching attempt. We hope that through this video you were able to learn something new and helpful with regard to the security of your system and we look forward to a more digitally secure world. From everyone at Kryptonite MIT and the Center of Cyber Security Mahe Manipal we would like to thank you for listening.